I'm Heather Brown, and this is my internet marketing action plan featuring Coaster Coffee. Coaster Coffee is a small owned nonprofit coffee shop in Norfolk, Virginia. This presentation will summarize their targeted audience, landing page optimization, newsletter partnership, and broad targeted and intention based campaigns. First of all, Coaster Coffee's audience is men and women ages 20 to 35 who make over $35,000 a year and also live in the Hampton Roads area of Virginia. When it comes to targeting our audience, we take a look at these personas. With the competitive persona, we want to show how Coaster Coffee is better than the competition such as Starbucks and Dunkin' Donuts. For spontaneous personas, we want to use strong photos and engaging graphics that draw them in since after all they're being spontaneous, kind of visiting Coaster Coffee at a whim. So this is where we want to really engage them with visuals. So they're like, oh, that looks awesome. So we bring them in. For our humanistic personas, we want to focus on the nonprofit side of the business, making the audience care about Coaster Coffee and their mission. And the methodological audience, we want to use facts and numbers along with the mission and the giving back. So this way, the audience has some tangible proof as to Coaster Coffee's mission and why they are good. When it comes to our landing page optimization, um, there are three different landing uh, versions to test. And they will use different types of images, headlines, and call to actions to engage the users. By doing this, Coaster Coffee can gauge which method will gain the most interactions that leads to sales and each page will offer their own unique discount so that sales can be tracked to each method. For variation one, the landing page is going to revolve around the quality of Coaster Coffee and focuses on the coffee shop aspect of the business, where this page will target more competitive and spontaneous personas. Variation two focuses on the charity work that's done by Coaster Coffee to target more humanistic type uh, personas. In variation three, We'll tar it's more broad where it's going to have a combination of coffee and nonprofit. Put it all together of equal amounts. This way you cover every aspect of what Coaster Coffee does. And the metrics to measure on these pages will be online sales, page views, clicks, and the average time spent on the page. The landing page elements for variation one will have strong graphics and visuals of coffee and people interacting with coffee. Uh, call to actions would be something similar like try Coaster Coffee today. And their promo code will feature a 10% off coupon. Variation two, you will have more unifiable images and graphics where you see people together over coffee or people of Coaster Coffee doing things to help the community. Their call to actions will be along the lines of change star to the cup of coffee and their promo code will be uh, for get a dollar off a cup and we'll donate a dollar. And for variation three will be a combination of the two but also with strong, um, very strong visuals focusing all around coffee and a call to actions will be give back with what you're already buying and this will have a buy one get one free for a friend Fridays. For the broad campaign Coaster Coffee plans on using Coastal Virginia Magazine. Uh, Coastal Virginia Magazine is a lifestyle and local publication. It is a leading resource for arts and entertainment, fine dining, local issues, and interest. Um, this method, we will be using display and banner ads that promotes Co Coaster Coffee's Best Local Coffee Shop Award and will be placed on the right side of the website where most other ads are. The readers and viewers average of the age of 25 and make roughly 50000 or more annually. To the right, you can see the goals for the conversion rate at 1.5% and 45,000 exposures. The targeted campaign, we want to use the Virginia Pilot, which is a local Hampton Roads newspapers. This, um, with this site, we will utilize mobile banners and medium rectangle ads that promote a Norfolk growing business that gives back to the community. And these ads will be placed on the right side of the website. Special offers will be the boat buy one get one free Fridays. This site receives over a million views annually and over 51% of viewers make over $50,000. 
reaching a large portion of Poster Coffee's audience. The conversion rate goals for this is 2.5% with 50,000 exposures. Intention-based campaign, we will want to track, uh, pay for keywords such as Coaster Coffee, Coastal Coffee, Coaster Coffee Shop, Norfolk Nonprofit, OV Coffee, and OV stands for Ocean View, which is the area that Coaster Coffee is in, Ocean View Coffee Shop, Norfolk's Best Coffee, and Nonprofit Coffee Shops. These will range anywhere from nothing to $1.86 each, according to Mondovo.com, making the average about 31 cents per phrase. Using terms such as OV coffee can help those locally who are in the early stages of buying and trying to find coaster coffee, or terms such as nonprofit coffee shop and Norfolk nonprofit can help negate commercial coffee shops out. Using these keywords can help boost awareness of coaster coffee online in the area. For the newsletter sponsorship, we'll be using Coastal Virginia Magazine again, and this is where we will be able to use a full-on banner along the top of the newsletter. This conversion rate is goals for 5%, and this, based upon the goals and the prices, this should be the most successful um, campaign done with uh, out of any of them. Here are my references and I hope you enjoyed this overview.